You finally gathered up your courage and you're ready to go to Yanov outskirts. Let me just say, you will die a lot more, even more than I said previously in the bar and even more than I said previously in garage. So make sure you find a group of friends, a group of people that play and you just team up with them. What I like to do is I like to run up to people and just add them to the squad and most of the time they, uh, they join and I end up having five people running around doing their own things on the map but once as soon as fighting starts or some important event begins, they're ready to come up and group up and help you out it's very nice also if you want to move around Yanov outskirts freely I would recommend you upgrade the science suit line the worn Seva suit is good enough to walk around 90% of the territory at the south gates you will find this valley very high traffic area you will find all sorts of folks so be very vigilant walking around here If you're looking for caches, this valley has an abundance of them. On these northern maps, stalkers are also your enemies. Don't let them catch you off guard like they did me. In this part of the map, you can find a lot of good artifacts. It's a very good place to come check out after an emission. This is the highest traffic area in this map, so keep that in mind when you're looting here. You can also find a lot of people holding this choke point. Make sure you look up when you're passing by. This is one of the paths that you aren't going to be able to take even though you have a science suit. But over here you'll be able to. Right here it's pretty much safe. Once you get to this point, if you do not have a science suit, you're going to struggle moving around. There's a lot of patches of places you won't be able to go through. So let's take a look at what it looks like. The last area was abundant with caches. This area is abundant with red fern, especially the flowering ones. At night, the flowering red fern is a lot more visible. Make sure you look around. In the Northern Territories, you'll notice these new events called Defend Anomalous Installations. They're pretty much like distress calls, which you'd have to defend against waves of enemies to get your reward. Here's an example. Also, make sure you have some friends to help you out. You'll most likely die by yourself.
Once you complete all the waves, the loot's gonna appear on the side, and it's pretty much worth it. You get a couple people going, and you rotate around the map doing those, you'll come out with a big buck. In this area of the map, I found myself having the most fun PvPing. You'll find that a lot of players will gather around here because of airdrops. This place also looks stunning, let's have a look. The center part of this area is another location you can't head to until you upgrade your science suit. The monolith squad is another new event you'll find around this area. Sometimes they'll be easy to take out and sometimes they'll be very difficult. Most of the troops will have armor on them so prepare accordingly. Here's an example of how it can play out. In the northern territories, you'll start encountering the Chimera. They tend to sneak up on you and kill you unexpectedly. If you see one, avoid at all costs. And then last but not least of the new events, Dropped Cargo. This is the money maker and your upgrades. So make sure you hit those anytime you see it. There's going to be a lot of PvP involving and sometimes there's going to be nothing involved at all. I have a couple of spit up examples for you. The duty faction is currently capturing this one, so we decided to try to sneak in and take it over.
We were almost done, and then a couple of mercenaries showed up and ruined the party. Keep in mind that these drops are not instants to the player, the loot inside is the loot for everyone, so first come first serve. Here's another example of what you can find. These merchant deliverer boxes are very valuable, make sure you pick them up. You can also educate yourself on which materials are more valuable than others. If you go to the merchant and you just look down into the list, I really recommend you take a look and you learn what you want to pick up and what you want to leave behind because I always tend to pick up everything and then I come back and I didn't make as much money as I thought because I was carrying a bunch of cheap stuff. This last part of the map is a little less active because it's all the way at the back, but you will still find a lot of bandits and their sub-factions here. I also really like the little compounds they have around here. Let's take a look. There's an item you can buy that's called an injector. It's quite expensive, but it permits you to res yourself. It's really, really a detriment in this part of the map. Well, this is it. This is all I got for you guys for Yanov Outskirts. Thanks everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Next video, we're going to talk about Red Forest. See you next time.